Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, if you just look at that image without even being told who the author of this puzzle is, you may be able to guess. Um, this is James Cop, who comes up with some of the most, well, accurate representational images. And this puzzle is called Stumped. James sent us an email, um, actually a few weeks ago, pointing out that the England and Australia are competing in England for both men's and women's ashes this year. The ashes, okay, for those of you who don't know cricket, um, the ashes is a very important contest in cricket. It's contested between England and Australia twice every four years. Um, and I say not once every two years because summers differ and it's therefore off cycle slightly. Um, and it's in England at the moment. Both men and women are competing for it, and England's men and England's women are trying to come back from almost unassailable deficits to win their series. By the time you see this, Australia may have clinched the ashes in the women's because they're playing today. Um, but as I am recording it, both series are still open, and I am therefore cheering on the English sides in both cases um, and following the series both series quite closely, I can tell you. I may even be playing my first and only game of cricket this summer on Sunday. We will see if that comes to pass and how I'm feeling on Monday, if so. Um, anyway, that is the cricket background for you. And um, anybody who doesn't know cricket, this picture represents a bat and two sets of stumps and is very well done indeed. I'm not sure if the 40 number is meant to be a particularly cricket number. I guess it's the it's kind of the de delineator of a good batting average above an ordinary or, or poor one. So um, maybe that. Anyway, um, I'll go through the rules in a minute. Uh, you may be able to guess the rules if you've seen blue lines in puzzles before um, and have a go at the puzzle now. But I do want to mention, of course, our Kraken the Cryptic competition on Patreon. Do give it a try. It's proving very popular. Lots of different grades of puzzle and different rule sets in play there. You will see equal sum lines and thermos involved in, well, in Trident and, oh, both in Trident, funnily enough. Yes, that's true. Oh, well, there we go. I have a, we have an equal sum lines and a thermo puzzle in that pack. Do join us on Patreon anyway. There's always loads of extra content. And, uh, check out our apps as well, where we have a Thermo app amongst all the others and gas. Um, and those are all on the links under the video, along with Sven's Sudoku pad and our merchandise. But this puzzle is the first link and I'm gonna go through the rules now. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're gonna be putting one to nine in every row, column and three by three box. Um, along thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb to the end. The clue outside the grid, that's this 40, indicates the sum of the digits along the indicated diagonal. So those digits add up to 40. And digits on the blue line have an equal sum n, which we have to work out, within each box it passes through. So those two add up to the same as that. Now, in the center box, the two segments of the line sum to n separately. So that equals, the, the, the sum of those equals n, that's n, sum of those is n, that's n, the sum of those is n, that's n. We have to work out what n is. So this is the puzzle for today. Do give it a go um, if you're feeling up to it. James Cop, it can be difficult sometimes, we'll see. I am gonna start my clock now and say, let's get cracking and we'll have a look at this. So. So, there are one cell portions of this line. Oh, of course, all the one cell portions of the line are the same. Right. Those are all the same digit. Whatever n is, that is it. Um, and look, we can, see, we can see where it goes in the central box because those cells rule out all of these. So whatever n is, there it is in the middle of the puzzle. Might be five. It could actually, it could be five. It can't be any less because we need two lots of n there and there, and five's the lowest digit it could be there for, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and the reason I laugh is because we often notice that in beautifully symmetrical puzzles with great discoveries, five ends up in the middle. Um, 
and it may do in this, but it's perhaps the least likely candidate so far. Now, that's not getting me much, and I can't think of much to do with the equal sum lines, or indeed the little killer clue going down here. So uh, that was a very poor effort to draw that diagonal. So I'm going to look at the thermos. Yes, okay, so... Right, where do 8 and 9 go in box 6? Not on those cells, because if 8 and 9 appear on a thermo, it must be in the last two digits. So 8 and 9 are up there somewhere. Conversely, well, we can do this for all of the boxes involving thermos. 1 and 2 must be in those cells, because they can't be anywhere here. 8 and 9 must be in those. 1 and 2 must be in those. I think that is definite. Um... Now, that gets more interesting. Look, when you force 8 out of these cells, the highest they can be is 7. I don't know. Does, I think it means this is a 7, 8, 9 triple, but I need to think through why I think that. Yes, you can't put 7 on these thermo cells. It couldn't go there just by nature of the distance on the thermo. If you put a 7 in one of these three, it would need an 8 here and a 9 here. We're saying it can't have an 8 in these cells because we've located 8 in box 6 and therefore in row 4, somewhere in those cells. So these can't be 8. So 7 can't be here and therefore 7 can't appear anywhere in on the thermos in box 1. And this is a 7, 8, 9 triple. Now I presume... Yeah, since these can't contain two, they're all at least three, and these are at least four. And in fact, that makes this a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sextuple. Well, I mean, I suppose that's the corollary of this being a one, two, three. Um, I'm still going to pencil mark like crazy. Now, it doesn't mean, I don't think, that I can make this a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sextuple because three might appear there so I'm just going to be a little careful about extending this logic what I am going to say is of this four five six seven eight nine sextuple four must be in the earlier position because you can't put any of those before it so four is not there similarly nine must be in one of those spots because you can't put a nine here on a thermo I can do the same here these can't have a six and must have a one these can't have a 1 and must have a 6. And that's interesting, actually. They must have a 6. So wherever the 6 is, this is a higher digit below it. If it was there, this is a higher digit, but it can't be 8 or 9. So wherever the 6 is, there's a 7 directly below it. So one of these actually is a 7. And now we know that these don't have a 7. So one of these is a 7, can't be on the bulb because they're not long enough then. 7 must be in one of those cells. Now we know one of these is 8, because wherever 7 is, it goes 7, 8, 9. Isn't this beautiful? I haven't seen this kind of repeating treatment occurring before. It's very clever. Um, I must be able to do some symmetrical counterpart to that over here. And that is... Does three, yes, four is in one of these cells. Therefore, a digit lower than that is in one of these three cells, and it's not one or two. Therefore, it is three. There is a three in one of those cells. Now there has to be a three in one of these six. It can't be on the end of a four cell thermo, so it's up there. Now one of these has to be a two. It's crazy, this. Now look, we've got 3 and 7 confined there and there. So 3 and 7 are in these cells. But 3 can't be the yellow cell, because that has to be n, which is the sum of two digits twice in box 5. Can 7? Well, oh, 3 is definitely on the n sum. OK, that rules out 6 as being the yellow digit because that would if 3 was on one of its n sums in box 5 it would be 3 3 so 
six is not the yellow digit. The yellow digit is five, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, what it's definitely not is one or two. So one and two are now confined there. And there's got to be a four in this box now. Up here or along here? Ah, I'm going to say not in this row. And I'm going to say it for a peculiar reason. So imagine this was a three, four, seven triple. Therefore, two of the digits would be three and four. Imagine they're in those two cells. What cells go below them on the thermo, before them on the thermo? And the answer is they would all have to be selected from one, two, and three, but there are four of them in the same box. So that's impossible. So four is not on that group. Four is in this group. Now, I don't know what that means. Does that mean four is in that group or in this group? That No, the symmetrical counterpart of that deduction is to do with higher digits. And it says that seven... No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Whichever one... Actually, this is a different deduction, so I'm a bit confusing myself, but this is also important. Maybe I should do that... What was it I deduced? I deduced that if three is there, four can't be there. Right, so the equivalent of that is if seven is here, six can't be here, that's it, because... Um, wow, because six and seven being in two of those cells would force a group of four cells here to be selected from seven, eight, and nine. Now, over here, I could put through four here, but it's slightly different here. It's putting six there, or not putting six here, does it mean six has to be on a bulb? I don't know. What it definitely does mean is six can't six in this row, if it can't be in those cells, it's in one of these. Um, now, actually, you can't... No, you can put six on the bowl before seven. Why? It's doing something different, I think, because we haven't confined eight and nine here. I, I'm not quite understanding the lack of symmetry, um, but I think it's there. Anyway, the other thing I noticed was that if you put seven in one of these cells, it must be followed by eight and nine. And that means that seven in box nine, there is definitely an eight and nine on one of these thermos. On the other thermo, seven can't go in position in, in row seven because there's no more higher digits to go on its tail after eight, nine has gone on one of the thermos. So none of these are seven and seven must be in this group of cells along with nine. Now, I think that's a transferable deduction. Once we're saying that four is in one of these, it must have the three here and the two here and the one here. Now, three in this box cannot be in row two anywhere. That's the equivalent deduction because there would be no other digits to put on the bulb after two and one have gone in one of them. So three is not in there. It is definitely in this group. Ooh, I'm eking this out slowly, and maybe there are bigger holistic deductions I can make, but um, I have to do it at the pace I'm doing it, I'm afraid. Oh, seven sees that cell, so yellow is not seven. Ah, well, that's got interesting in the central cell, which can't be seven, but we knew three and seven were in this pair, in this trio, so they're now a pair in these two. They are three and seven, right. Seven is contributing, in one case, to the total of n in the central box. So n is not five anymore. n is eight or nine. Ah, and that is not seven because this can't be one or two to make up the eight, nine sandwich because of that one, two pair. So that is three. We've got a digit in this puzzle after a mere 10 and a half minutes. It's, Classic James Cop, this. That's a seven. That goes with a one or a two to make eight or a nine. Three goes with five or six to make eight or nine. Three, 
seven. Now, I don't think I can rule four out of this area. I think I can... No, I was thinking I could rule five out of this group, but I don't think I can. Oh, gosh, I'm stuck again. That's really annoying. I don't think the 40 diagonal is any use to me at the moment. Apologies to you, 40 diagonal, if you are. I will find you eventually. Oh, right, I can just do some pencil mark clearing up. Two is in one of those cells, so not one of those. Oh, that's it. That's the only bit I'd missed. Right. What now? I don't know. How do we do anything? One, two, three, seven. Right, the other digit along here isn't eight or nine, is it? Because that would be too early on the thermo. It's four, five, or six. It's odd to me that I don't know whether four is in that group or this group. Four isn't in these cells. Is that fair? Yes, because it's in those. I still don't know whether this is eight or nine. That's annoying. Right, I need to think of something. Oh, look, I do. I do, because I've got an eight in one of those cells. Yes, I know what yellow is now. They're looking at that cell. So that's a nine. We've got nine in yellow. Always the most plausible answer, but annoyingly the least limited one. Um, right, but that does sort out these pairs in the central box. We have 3 and 6 equals 9, 7 and 2 equals 9. These cells, I mean, are from 4, 5 or 8. These ones are from 1, 4 or 5. Now, 8 can't be in those cells because we know it's up there. So the 8 in this row is, well, it was, sorry, it's definitely there. It's four or five I want to know about. One, two, oh, there's definitely a one, because there's a one in those, in that group. There's definitely a one in this group. Yes, the counterpart of that is, as there's an eight in one of those, there's an eight in one of these. But there's these annoying middly digits that I still have to figure out. God, I don't know. This isn't easy. There's a 9 in one of those two cells because of the 9 that appears there. There's a 9. Ooh, yes. 9 in row 2. Look at that. It can't be there, obviously, on the bulbs. It can't be there because of the 9. can't be there. It can't be there on the bat handle because these two have to add up to 9. So it's there. Now, this isn't 9. Therefore, this isn't 8. Sorry, I'm trying to do the right thing and doing the wrong thing. Therefore, this is now 5, 4, or 3. And this is 1, 2, 1 or 2. It can't be 3 or 4. Oh, that's interesting. We can't have 3 or 4 on these bulbs. Now, we can have 1 and 2. Indeed, we must have 1 and 2 in this group, in this row. But the other one is 5 or 6, which is the one that's going to need 7 here. Because it can't have 6 here. These are from 3, 4, 5, 7. 1 and 2 are here. 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, 8. 4, 5 and 6 to spread out across these rows. I don't really know how to do it. How has this 9 helped? It's put... Oh, this can't be 9. Look at that. I hadn't even got rid of that earlier. That can't be 9. This can't be 8. That can't be 7. But this is 9 in box 9. There we go. This must be 8 as well. It's the only place left for it in box 9. Now, I want to say that this is definitely 7, and it is, because these can't be 7 anymore. So that's where 7 is in this group of thermos. And I'm guessing that this isn't 1 or 2. In fact, that's right. Because these are 3, 4 or 5, these have to be from 1, 2, 3 and 4, and they can't be 3 or 4. So they are a 1, 2 pair. Let's get rid of all the corner marks. There we go. And that is 1 or 2. 
and this is bigger, and it's not one, two, three, four, or seven. That's five or six. And these are from four, five, six, and eight. Now that's interesting. If these were four and five were included here, I think we've got the four cell problem. Imagine that was four and five. These could be at most three and four, and then we're selecting four digits from one, two, three here, which makes no sense. So five is not in this group. That is a four, six, eight group of evens. And this is a five on the bulb here. And those aren't fives in the box, and those aren't fours now, and these aren't fives, and we're narrowing stuff down. This is a six, eight pair that I can actually write in, unusual in this puzzle. This is now a three, five, seven odd triple. I imagine these are all even one steppers down. Yeah, one of them is a six that goes under the seven. None of them can be five because there isn't another seven for them to go under. So those are a two, four, six triple. And therefore by Sudoku in box in this box, that's a one, three, five triple. Similarly, we can't have a four here anymore. Let's just get rid of the corner marks first. We can't have a four in those. Oh yes, we could. In fact, we do. Oh, I've lost my reason. We do have a four in one of those, and we do have a seven in one of these. So these are slightly different from these ones. That's so strange. One, three, five there. I think I have worked this out genuinely. I don't think there's a mistake there. A bit scared now. Nine is looking at that cell, of course. That's been doing it for ages. One of these is a nine and one of those now. One of these starts with a five and goes five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's not this one, because that would kill that cell off. So this is not the five, six, seven, eight thermo. It's either one, these are all one steppers, one, two, three, four, or three, four, five, six. Okay. This is one, two, three, or four, because we've placed all these high digits. Oh, and it's not one or three. That is two or four. Now on the bat handle, this is five or seven to make up n to nine. Now what does that do? The trouble is I don't know where how five and six split out down here. You can tell this is all incredibly deliberate. This is one or three, because it sees a two, four pair as well as five, six, seven, eight, nine. But this one, don't know. Now it is time, maybe, to get rid of yellow and to think about this diagonal. Let's give it a color and think about 40 on this. Right, that pair adds up to 9. That is a 9. That's 18. 40 is a very averagey total. It's only just less than the average value for each cell. So. I'm not sure if this really helps much, to be honest. Now, I think I'm going to have to do other Sudoku before figuring that out, or, well, other thematic thinking specifically. God, this isn't easy. This isn't easy. What's going on here? I've still got this, the base of the bat to add up to nine, but I don't have, I don't feel like I have many clues about that. One, five, three. So I've got this two, four, six triple. Oh, look, that can't be eight either. So this is one, three, five, or seven, and one of those two is an eight. One, three, five, nine. We've got two, four, six, eight, seven, eight to place there. I don't want to pencil mark all of that. I think I've kept my pencil marks reasonably restrained at the moment. You, you may beg to differ. Now, if I knew one of these thermos ended five, seven, and the other was four, six, I would know that this couldn't be the five, seven because of that cell. But I don't. If that's a seven, that's a five, then this will have to be 
No, I'm not sure. I was going to say it has to be a four. It doesn't. That's not true. OK, come on, Mark. Think of something different. Seven, eight, nine. Look, where does eight go in box three? I mean, that's just straightforward Sudoku, weirdly. These are from two, four, six, seven. That can't be seven. The central one can't be two or six. Now, is there any other digit that's just... Well, seven is in one of those two. And one of these two. It's a big old X-wing. Is it a useful one? I can't see it. This can't be eight or nine, but I don't want it to be high. I'm expecting it to be low. Six is in one of those two. I've only just noticed. Um, what if six was there? 15, 24, 29, 30 at a minimum, and then 10 at a maximum here. I just don't know. I don't think I can control this group. Ah. Oh. One, okay, one of these is five, six, seven. Ah, oh, yes. One of these two is five, six, seven, eight as a thermo, and then therefore the top cell in the column is nine. So in one of these groups, we've got all the high digits. Therefore, in that column, one, two, three, four are at the bottom somewhere. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. If this was three, four, five, six, you can't put one and two in this pet in this trio of cells because three of them, either there or there, are from one, two, three, four. Right. This is not three, four, five, six. This is the one, two, three, four one. Now I have a feeling I'm going to end up no further forward having done that, but let's have a look at the result. One, two, three, four, nine. These are from five, six, seven, eight. That one can't be eight. Now, this is a pair that makes nine, so this is the low digit. Ooh, does that make this the low set? Not necessarily, because you could still have one, two, three, four here and make up the one, two, three, four set down here. Now, maybe what I should have asked is can nine be on this diagonal? Let's keep the rest minimal and see if that's the case. 9 plus 9 plus 9, that's 27. We've only got 13 left. 5 and 1 is 6. Another 5 there. Oh, the only way to have 9 on it is with 1 there and 1 there. And it looks like that could happen. But hang on, I've worked out that one of these digits... I've worked out that one of these two digits is low because there's a set of one, two, three, four, either there or there. So one of them is low, but the other one is not. Or could it be? Could you get both of them in? Maybe you could if they were positioned like... No, you can't do that because nine is in one of those cells. So only one of these is low. One of them is not from... One, two, three, four. And now I'm seeing this one, two, three triple as well. Now, if that was the high one, how high? Oh, OK. The thing to do is to remember that where we've got nine, five, six, seven, eight in one of these columns, and thus the four low digits down here, one, two, three, four. In the other column, we've got three, four, five, six. And a one or a two here. So any high digit that's going to end up in green is seven, eight or nine. Now, they can't both be high digits. Well, we know that because one of these is a set from one, two, three, four. But the high digit is from seven, eight, nine. Right. Now I'm going to add up the minimum on this diagonal, assuming a seven there 
as the minimal high digit in that green area. This is weird, but it's the only way I can do it as far as I can see. Plus five, plus five is 17, plus nine is 26, plus one is 27, plus nine there is 36. That's really annoying. That gives me, no, it's not annoying. It's very helpful. I was gonna say it gives me a maximum four in the top cell, but remember, I haven't counted one of these cells. So it's a maximum three. If, well, whatever happens, this is a maximum three because there is a high digit that is seven, eight or nine in one of these. Now, I think I can probably go further now. I think. I can't say that's not a nine because I worked out that it could be. I can at least place the six in this box thanks to that one, two, three. I don't think that's going to, ooh, it takes six off there. No, I, 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 let's not worry about what that does yet. I'm still trying to focus on these cells. Yes, I cannot adjust these by three. The minimum I've got here is, say, a seven and a one. Let's put it that way down here. That's eight. Plus five is 13. Plus five is 18. Plus nine is 27. Plus one is 28, plus nine on the handle is 37, plus one there. That's the minimum, 38. There's two degrees of freedom to 40. And that means I can't up any of these by more than two. So those two have to be at their minimum. One and five are done there. You see, that might be very, very helpful. We'll see in a moment, hopefully. Well, I'm hoping we'll see in a moment. We might not, but... This is a very complex puzzle, James. This is not what I was expecting from a puzzle to some extent dictated by the purity of the, um, of the shape you are conveying. Now, I haven't, I haven't done it. That hasn't fixed things in the central columns as I thought it might, which is a shame, but there you go. Um, we have to take what we can get. Now, I do want to think about these cells again. Because what I've been sort of working off is that one of them is seven, eight. Uh, well, what I added up before was seven and one as the minimum. Now, seven could increase to nine, so that can still be a nine. But one cannot increase to four. So this digit in the corner cannot be the low digit because it can't be one, two or three. This is the high digit. This is the low one and is therefore the one forming a one, two, three, four quadruple there. There you go. I don't think it can be four, but I'm not ruling that out just yet. I don't think that matters at the moment. This is the one, two, three, four set. So on the thermo, we go five, six, seven, eight, nine at the top. Oh, this is brilliant. That's five, six. This is just Sudoku now in the box. Four, three there. This is where nine has to go. And that nine reduced everything else to the minimum. One there, five there, one there. Uh, the maths is simple now. 15 plus 15 is 30, nine on the handle and one. Yes, this is it. Right, that one says two, ooh, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Two and one there. These aren't one or two, that's a three, four pair. This is on, it can't be four, five, it must be three, six to make the nine down here. We're away, we're away. This is it. Oh my goodness, what a brilliant puzzle. I love the way this works. Seven is in one of those cells now, so that's not seven. I've got, this must be doing it. Five is looking across there, so four, three, four. That can't be four, so that can't be five. How is that not done? It is. We've got a six there. Seven, five, six. So these, these are not one-stepping thermos all the way. In fact, none of them is a one-stepping thermo. Interesting. Two totally different sets of stumps. One-steppers over this side, non-one-steppers over this side. <laughs> Excellent. This is brilliant. Um, that can't be seven which is quite important because we have to place seven in the box. It's on the bat handle. We get the two at the top of the handle. That is now a six. We're finally getting some traction in the central columns. Oh, three and five here as well. That's a four box finished. 
This is an 8-1 pair that aren't resolved. That's just cruel. This is a 235 chocolate teapot triple that's not resolved. Even crueler. This 123 triple has been resolved. Hurrah! Three in the corner! That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. Brilliant. That's a naked eight. And that's going to sort out box seven. We're going to finish now. This is fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Five and six there. I don't like stumped. I love it, James. To quote 10cc. Um, that must be a three, two, five, and a two, three, four to finish off. Two, four, three. There we go. That is stumped. That is excellent stuff. Thoroughly enjoyable. Really good puzzle. Very cricket themed. And good luck to England. Right. Thanks for watching. Um, I can't believe that got done in a half an hour. It felt like an hour's worth of brain torturing, but I'm delighted. Thanks for watching, as always, on the channel. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.